Yo, 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 what up guys? It's your favorite fellow earthling here, Austin Hustler Hires. And today we're gonna be talking about how to get the most out of your junk removal business. But of course, it is Monday, so first of all, we're gonna show the prize of the week. It is this 1976 two dollar bill we're going to be giving away this week and all you have to do to win this two dollar bill is comment down below the keyword two also you have to hit the like button and be subscribed to my channel to win this prize i'll be announcing the winner of that prize on friday so make sure to stay tuned all week and watch my videos to see who wins let's get into it There are all kinds of ways to scale and grow your business and get the most out of a junk removal business. So today I'm gonna share with you things that I did and still do to this day to keep that money rolling in. So we're gonna start from the very beginning, 2016 when I first rolled out my Let It Go junk removal business, which has been the best roller coaster ride of my life. I'm still riding that roller coaster to this day, but instead of all the hoops and loops and ups and downs, we're having a smoother ride, a smoother roller coaster with small speed bumps along the way, guys. And I'm gonna teach you how to get that smooth roller coaster going. You're gonna go from hoops and loops and jumping over all kinds of obstacles to having a smooth roller coaster ride in your junk removal business. And there's a few tips in this video to help you out with that. We started with a small pickup truck. We had no logos. We didn't even have a trailer. It was just me and a Craigslist ad. And from that, I grew a succeeding business, which is still running to this day. My first Craigslist ad was nothing special. It went a little something like this. Hi, my name is Austin Hires with Let It Go Junk Removal. Are you having a garage sale or an estate sale? Maybe you have a pile of old metal sitting around that you need to get rid of. You can give me a call and I can help you remove this stuff today. So that's something like how my first Craigslist ad was. It's not word for word, guys, because it was so long ago, I can't remember. But I know it was very simple, something like that. And my very first job came from that Craigslist ad. It was a big job, and we did it all for free. It was actually the clean out of the leftovers of an estate sale, which an estate sale is the liquidation of everything inside and outside of a home. This gentleman had an estate sale. He was moving somewhere out of state and he could not get rid of the leftovers for the life of him. And remember at the time I only had a pickup truck. I did not have a trailer. So we showed up to this gentleman's house and he showed us everything he had. It was a lot. A lot of knickknacks, we had couches, we had tables, lots of different furniture, and a lot of it was vintage stuff. I had no idea what the things were worth at the time. And this is exactly what I did, guys. My wife and I went to the gentleman's house and we started to look around and we saw everything we had to remove. We started to use our truck and load it up. While we were loading up, the gentleman said, hey, you guys don't have a trailer or something bigger to make this move along a little quicker. I said, no sir, we don't have anything that we can, you know, do that with unless I went to, to rent a U-Haul, but doing the job for free, it didn't make sense to me to rent a U-Haul. The gentleman offered another opportunity for me. He had a small trailer sitting on his property and he offered us to use that small trailer. All I had to do was get one of my tags, put it on the trailer, and he let us use that trailer to haul the stuff back and forth from his house to my storage unit and also my garage and my shed in the backyard. We ended up filling a full storage unit. We filled my garage all the way to the ceiling and my shed in the backyard with everything from this gentleman's house. It took me and my wife two days to put everything in the storage unit, in the shed and in the garage. And that weekend, it took us another two days to set the sale up. So Wednesday and Thursday, we were actually setting the sale up. It was a lot of work. But I'll tell you what, guys, it was a lot better than working in a restaurant for 75 hours a week and busting my ass for another person to be a millionaire, for him to go sit in his penthouse or his apartment and, uh, and be chillaxing on all the money that I was making him. I was literally running the restaurant. So this was easy, it was cake money compared to that. 
Although I was removing this stuff for free, I knew there was money to be had because some of these items were antique, they were vintage. I had no idea what the price was, but I knew that I could make some money. So long story short, we had the sale and in two days we made about $3,000 from all of the stuff we removed from the gentleman's house. We literally sold almost every single thing that we removed from this estate sale left over in two days. We may have had a few things left over, but we also acquired a few extra tables to set up our sales for the future from this uh, liquidation. So this is a way that you can get the most out of your junk removal business. If you just started your junk removal business and you're having a hard time making money from these jobs, just consider maybe doing it for less or even for free and look on Craigslist, look on Facebook for these people saying curb alert or leftover garage sale, leftover estate sale. You can get that stuff for free, bring it home and if you're a hustler, you're going to sell it and you're actually going to make some money from it. And a lot of times you will make a lot more money than you actually think you can. So from this point on, my wife and I continued to clean out garage sales and estate sales and liquidate the contents within and then we would have garage sales literally every other weekend so that we could pay our bills and it was working. It was making the money and I did not have to go work for another person. It was amazing. And then one day I got that call. I got that call from Craigslist and someone was willing to pay. They were willing to pay for me to come and remove their junk. I had a smile the size of Texas and I was super excited to go do this job. When I showed up to the person's house, they said, how much is it going to cost? It was a whole bunch of metal, basically my whole trailer filled with metal. We had like four wheelers and dirt bikes and other pieces and parts of cars, but it was all worth money because I knew that I could take it to the scrapyard and get a couple of bucks. So I removed all of that for $90. They gave me a $5 tip. So I made $95 off of that job, which was awesome. And then what was even better is I brought that stuff home. I unloaded one of the four wheelers, which was just basically the body. It had no engine, but the frame of the four wheeler. And I was able to sell that for 50 bucks. And then I took the remainder of the scrap metal to the yard and I sold that for a hundred bucks. So I made well over $200 off of my first job in junk removal. My first official paid job anyway. So that is another way to get the most out of your junk removal business, guys. To this very day, I save scrap metal. And you can actually see behind me, we have a small pile going of scrap metal right there. But the only difference is I delegate that scrap metal to another third party person. They come and they pick up a full load every time we have a full load's worth here in the backyard and they take it to the scrapyard, they, lo they load it, they unload it, they do all the work for me. They come back and they give me a percentage of that. I never really charge them any type of uh, strict percentage or even let them know how much I want out of it. This person is just really cool and trustworthy. They come by and they give me 20, 30, 50 bucks, uh, depending on how much scrap metal I give them. Sometimes I even let them take it and I just say, hey, don't worry about paying me anything today because I just love helping people out. This gentleman is about 70 years old and he has the drive of a freaking 20 year old. It's amazing. It's amazing to have a third party person to delegate this stuff to. Speaking of delegation, guys, that is the next big thing that can help you move your business forward to help you get the most out of your junk removal business. There are things in life that you and you alone can do, but there are also things in life that you can delegate to other people and they can get it done just as good as you could. And here's my rule. If they can do something at least 80% of what you would be doing that something, then they're doing a great job. So basically if they can, if you're doing 100% and they do it 80% out of your 100% as far as how well they get it done, how efficient they get it done and, and how they treat the customers, uh, that is something that I consider. If they can do 80% of your work, then they are totally worth delegating the work to. So that's another way you can grow and scale your business guys, delegation, delegation, delegation. Uh, I know a lot of people when you're just getting started out, you're going to do these jobs on your own. Maybe you're hiring people, you know, a guy here and there to help you out on the bigger jobs. Eventually, shut up birds. Shut up. 
What's up guys? I had to interrupt this video real quick to ask you to smash that like button. We've been getting less and less likes on all of these videos. So if you're watching this right now, I know you've seen this. Go ahead and hit that like button for me down below. It will help boost the algorithm and help show this video to more people to help more people out. We are fellow earthlings here guys. That's what we're here to do is help out every single earthling with any kind of issue or problem or maybe just giving them information they never knew before. Make sure to hit that like button for me and here's the rest of the video okay so we've talked about doing jobs for free and reselling the content so you can make some money from that we've talked about getting scrap metal and holding on to that to make some extra money for your business we've also talked about delegating jobs to people so that they can do the work for you while you're actually building the business on the back end or maybe you're just doing some other work in another place to make more money so the next thing you want to do is use all of this extra money that you're making for your business on your business. You want to invest every single dollar that you make back into your business until your business has grown to the point where you can pay yourself a little bit of extra money to go out and have that fun, to go out and buy those shoes or that hat or that car, or that motorcycle, that fishing pole, that gun, whatever it is you want to buy, guys. Make sure that you're investing all of your money up front, all the money that you're making in the first initial start of your business. That way you can build your business and grow your your business with that money don't go out and spend it on stuff that you want spend it on stuff that you need and that is very important very important to get the most out of your junk removal business this year the things I figured out that make my business the most money and to invest into are assets to buy yourself some more assets whether it's a trailer or a truck or a van a box truck another car for marketing um, trailers dump trailers those are the things that you can invest into your money your money is going to make you more money that way if you buy a trailer that's an asset that you will always own once you own it it's yours and you can rent it out tomorrow you can pick it up and you can rent it out the next day you can pick it up and rent it out the next week it doesn't matter uh, how many times you rent it out you're still gonna make money from that one investment so that's super important guys if you only have one trailer right now and you're using that to go out and get junk removals but you're finding yourselves getting a lot of extra calls and I'll talk about in another video how to get these extra calls how to get more business than you actually need so you can grow and scale your business on an everyday basis but right now let's focus on how to get those extra trailers you can go on Craigslist you can go on Facebook and you can even drive around your city or your town and see these uh, trailers that are for sale on the side of the road maybe someone's just getting rid of it because they don't need it anymore you can pick up a small tandem axle or even a single axle trailer build some walls on it and call it a dump trailer there are lots of people on YouTube doing this right now. They're buying small trailers, building walls on them, and renting them out for two hundred, three hundred dollars a day. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why you would not do something like this. More assets essentially equals more money. So, say you have that one trailer, you're out there doing a junk removal, and you have another trailer, and you have someone that wants to do a junk removal, you can sell them that trailer to load themselves. So that way, while you're over here doing a junk removal with this trailer, this trailer can be over here in their driveway making some extra money for you, another couple hundred dollars for the day. And I know for a lot of you, an extra $200 a day would be amazing. It would make your month, your week, your year even, if you could get an extra $200 a day. So this is another way to grow your business, to get the most out of your junk removal business, guys. Invest your money back into it and get some more assets to make you more money. Because like I said, once you own those things, they're forever yours. You might have to do some maintenance here and there and spend money on those trailers, but they're always yours, guys. It's not like you're renting a trailer, making money with it, and then you have to rent that trailer again and go make money with it. It's you, you buy the trailer and you can make money forever with the, for, for the life of that trailer anyway. I've got a whole bunch of tips for you guys and another tip for you to get the most out of your junk removal business this year is to use the technology you have. 
this phone right here, this can make you a lot of money. And I'm gonna give you two apps right now that are gonna make you money this year if you use them properly. One of them is called Get Upside. Just how it sounds is how you spell it, called Get Upside. I'll put the logo right here so you guys know what the logo looks like. You can get this on the Play Store or on the Apple Store. Um, you get it on your phone and basically you pull this app up it will show you the gas stations near you this app has several benefits and it will pull up the gas stations that offer those benefits to you basically all you have to do is go to one of those gas stations buy gas or fuel from that gas station pull your app up and take a picture of the receipt it is that simple after you take a picture of the receipt either an hour or maybe sometimes even up to a day they will deposit money into that app for you for using it it's super simple after you have, you know, 20, 30, $100 in the app, you can take it out as a uh, PayPal, um, as a PayPal withdrawal. You could take it out as a, a gift card. They have several different options to take your money out and use it. It's freaking amazing. I have a link down below to this app, guys, so you can click the link down below and, uh, and download the app through that link. It will also help me um, on my app as well. So if you guys send this link to other people, you get a few cents every time they use the app as well. It is an awesome app to save and make more money. And I give it to all my employees. So when they're out in the field and they fill my trucks up, they take a picture with their app, they make money from it, and then also them making money from it uh, gives me some money on my app without even taking a picture of a receipt. So it is a fantastic app and I do suggest you go down below, click the link and just download it, super easy. Another app guys that I talk about all the time and I use all the time is WorkEase or WorkIs, uh, it's pronounced actually. You get 14 days for free. They don't take a credit card or anything until you actually wanna purchase the service. And when you wanna purchase the service, it is one of the most affordable services that you can get uh, for the junk removal industry. To tr to, you can track your jobs, you can, uh, you can track your customers, your clients, you track your techs, you can, uh, you, can, you can record all the calls. They actually give you two phone numbers for free up front that you can use through the app. So you don't have to use your cell phone personal number. And I love that because once they, once they have that number, the customer now can text that number and it will come up through your Workies app and it won't pop up on your phone like a regular text message, which sometimes can be very annoying. So go and click that link down below for work is and uh, sign up for the 14 day free trial guys. It won't hurt you and things that won't hurt you at least at least give it a try. I know a lot of you out there you use Google Calendar or you just use your mind to remember where your jobs are at or a piece of paper. Um, a lot of you are talking about these different apps on the junk removal trash talk on Facebook. but. Um, work is is literally the best service guys come on get with the times get the app download it with my link down below that'll help me out and that'll help support this channel so I can continue making these great videos for you with all this information so those are two apps to help you more further your junk removal business this year to, to get the most out of your uh, junk removal or dumpster rental business this year honestly this whole video you can use any one of these ideas to further any business anywhere. It's not just junk removal or dumpster rental. So keep that in mind. If you have other businesses, all of these tips and tricks can help you out in any business really. One thing I like to talk about is don't be afraid of change, guys. Change is good. Change is how we further ourselves in life, how we make ourselves better, how we make our businesses better, how we make our families better, our houses better, our our everything okay our soul our spirit you have to not be afraid of change you have to take risks in life to go somewhere and if you don't take any risks in life you're not gonna go anywhere so just remember that that change is good it's not always a bad thing just remember that when you do when you do change something and if, if it doesn't work out guess what you can change it again and if it does work out for the time being, but you discover something better, you can change it again. That's the great thing about change. You can always do it. It's not like you change and then that's it. Your change is, is set in stone. You can literally change anytime you want in life, guys. So let's choose today to start changing. Download those apps. 
And if you guys need some help changing, give me a call on the Power Hour. I have a link for that down below. It'll bring you to my website. You sign up for it. I'll give you a call on that said day and time. We can talk about whatever questions you have to ask, or we could just sit there and chit chat, do whatever you want. It's only $45 per hour, guys, and you can sign up for multiple hours if you'd like, but I only have certain dates and certain times, so go ahead and book now before they all get filled up. I appreciate it and I hope to talk to you soon. The last and final tip I have for you guys today is to always do your best. Do this in your life. If you do this one small thing in your life, I promise it will help you change for the rest of your life. Take the word try and replace it with do my best. Do your best. Instead of saying I'll try to do something, say I'll do my best because mentally in your mind that makes it so much more positive and I guarantee you you will be more likely to do your best and then not just try something not just give it a try you will be doing your best that is literally the one thing that has changed my life and every time you say try remember that that is more of a negative word than a positive word when you say do my best just say it in your head right now do my best that sounds so much better than the word try, doesn't it? Anyway guys, I hope you've learned something from this video. I always like to inspire and motivate on this channel and just give you guys these secrets to, to life that I figured out that really helped me grow as a person in my as spiritually and in my business. So until next time guys, we'll see you later.